For 50 million pounds, would you abandon your morals and values for one year? Yeah, yes. I do it every Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, people. Welcome back to the Graph Kings podcast. We are in Moomoo's, Kent Scottish Nightclub, as always. Um, this evening, chaps and ladies, for those that are watching, um, we're going to talk about life dilemmas this evening. We're going to talk about life dilemmas that perhaps us boys have been through and that we've seen and lived through. Um, we're also going to have throw some... Hypotheticals. Ones. Yeah, that's a good word. Um, some hypothetical scenarios out there as to how we would potentially address it if um, £50 million was ever to be... Um, offered to us on a plate for a, a specific reason. So uh, we'll give you a little bit of debrief as well, boys, from the weekend, what we got up to, uh, mine and yours birthday. But um, yeah, we want to talk about some life dilemmas and see how us boys would potentially handle that um, and how we've handled any such situations that have come to us so far. And how Hopefully it helps. Point. Yeah, exactly that. Me and Mason now are... 20 fucking nine. In the last year of our 20s. Me and Mason, for those who don't know, are born on the same day. Same hospital, same ward, <laughs> but we only met each other when we was 13, which is 12. Fucking... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you shit, okay. mate. <laughs> I, th I think it was 13 because I didn't like him when I was 12. Is so, it not? No, I mean, well, I, mean, I, mean I, didn't, I wasn't fond of Mason. I remember just even walking around with his big head eating fucking a cucumber every day in, in the schoolyard. Every day he'd have a. Doesn't he set off a good first impression, does he? <laughs> 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 No, we weren't mates to begin with. What it was, I never forget. I was on the schoolyard one day. We called it a yard, a playground. In our school, we called it a yard. I don't know why we did, but we did. Yeah, we had lower school and upper school yards. Yeah, but it was basically a playground. And um, I walked on there and everyone had their drawstring bags or the just do it bag and they'd throw them against the fence before they'd go and play football or whatever. And uh, we never saw eye to eye. I was friends of a different friendship group. And then one day, one of the girls that we're really good friends with now, Olivia, said, oh, did you say your birthday's on the 15th of March? Like, yeah, why, why is that? And she goes, oh, you know that Mason Bartley, his birthday's on the same day. I was like, no way, really? And that was it. Being like, obviously 11, uh, being 12, 13, or however old we was, that was like a big thing. Oh, your birthday's on the same day. And I went, I remember I went up to him. I went, on the schoolyard, is your birthday the 15th of March? And he had like a proper actually, yeah, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on smoke already. I was like, oh, so is mine. And I was fucking shit you not. We become best friends from that point onwards. <laughs> so that, right. that was it. That just solidified the friendship. We weren't friends before that. And then as soon as we found out we had the same birthday, we just become best friends overnight. I don't even know what happened, but I didn't, I didn't like him for the first like three months of science school. Thought he was a little cocky prick. Fair play to you. Fair play to you. Fair play to you. If people could hear the arguments before this pod starts, bloody hell, it's usually you two. Nothing's changed. Old married couple. Out here. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, we Mert just sitting there like as he is now. I'm not saying a word. That's it. He <laughs> <laughs> sits and watches, doesn't he? <laughs> he observes. Producer. Do you remember? Do you remember producer, yeah. Do you remember on the weekend? <laughs> yeah. So we were went out. All you hear Mert say, you should say sorry for that. <laughs> 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 so we went out to, uh, this weekend, all of us together. Actually, all the pod boys. All of my day ones as well. Every single one of my day ones was there. There was 20 of us in total. Went to a local place to here called Westmoreland. Started off at a curry. Then went to the cow shed. If you've never been to the cow shed, it's a lovely little gaff to go. Loads of lovely Ratleys there as well, boys. So nice little spot in Westmoreland. And then we finished the night here. Um, but yeah, how was your... Was that your first night? Oh, we've had a night out in London before with all the boys. But officially all that group, that was the first time out in Maidstone or Westmoreland, wasn't it? Um, I would say yeah. so, yeah. I think it was, right? There's a Pretty few sorry. boys you met. I hadn't met yet as well. That yeah. yeah, they've met everyone now. There's a handful left, I think. Yeah, there isn't met. no one you haven't met now, is there? Yeah, no, really? that's it. They've met everyone now. Well, you've no, met, we haven't met them. You met Justin. Met Justin ages ago. Yes, yeah, so yeah. so you've met Justin. You met Ben. You met George. You've met Bill be before. Ben, ben and George. George. Ben and George were the last. No, I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. No, last you never met Mark Wareham before. Oh yeah, Zan. Harry, my hairdresser. Harry. Yeah, yeah he's cool. So you've met right. everyone now. Everyone, yeah. you met. You met everyone in the group, and then we, yeah, we just got fucked up. Me and Ozzy up front again, causing havoc, fucking saying some outrageous stuff to some people. Always do. And uh, yeah, it was um, well, what we did to Mason. I don't know if any of you follow oh. what we did to Mason. <laughs> it was on the Graph King story, so you should have seen it. Mason drove and said, look, boys, I'm not drinking, I'm not drinking. I was like, probably it's your birthday. What do you mean you're not drinking? Because no, I want to be, get up in the morning and be fresh. Fair play. <laughs> so my mate Ellis decided to buy him Corona freeze. Ellis went out of his way to spend money on two beers at a time just to fuck his <laughs> night up. So he bought one Corona Zero and one normal Corona We'd pour the other Corona away and then put the other one in and all night it's going, fucking hell, it's like the real thing this is. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we was all making him down it, getting him like, mate, and he was all laughing. He had no idea why he was laughing. So he was funny. laughing. But by the end of it, he goes, 
Boys, I tell you what, I feel fucking proper merry of these fucking leagues. It's the Blasebo, boys. It's the Blasebo. Yeah. Oh, Little did he know, he was four pints deep. Oh, fucking hell. And then he walked out the gaff, and I was like, brother, you can't drive. He went, what do you mean I can't fucking drive? I've been drinking zeros all night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you haven't. Luckily, you would never believed us. I recorded all of them every time so we poured one in. Do you know what the lady at the bar cool. said? By the fourth one, she went, I'm not serving you boys anymore. I swear to you, she said, I'm not serving you anymore. I went, why not? She goes, I know you're spiking your pal. I was like, oh, and it's for me, it's for me. She goes, is it actually for you? I was like, yeah, it's for me, it's for me. But listen, we're not going to let him drive, are we? We're not going to fucking, because no. imagine if he lost his license or what? <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine that, yeah. explaining that officer, I've had no drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm over the limit. I'm a breathalyzer. Like, mate, you're way over the limit, mate. Like, what the fuck? Just take me, just take me. Well, you'd never forgiven us, first of all. Right. I, we would have never forgiven us. I know, us. You'd, never let, you'd never let me drive no, anyway. Of course but, not. Yeah, I mean, I've already had two beers in the curry house. <laughs> and then God knows how many beers he must have bought me in that fucking gas. That's so funny. Well, that was a good night. Yeah, no clue. It was a good night. Yeah, oh Ash my God, Ash, Ash was there. Yeah. there. Ash come out. Ash yeah. come out with my two. Oh, well, you met Coombsy, you met Ben. Yeah. Fucking hell, there's some serious day one They're boys. definitely yeah, school day one. So yeah, you've officially met everyone. So yeah, yeah. I've done. Yeah, Lovely wow. boys. Fair play to what? Yeah, fair play to you. You lot are getting old, boy. Mm. Tell me about it. Catching up with you, son. Yeah, come on. I'm the youngest now. Thank you. Yeah, how old are you? 29. When did you turn 29? Oh, you're last me. October. October. Yeah. What did we do for your birthday last year? Newcastle. That was your birthday. Well, technically. I yeah, think I think we, it was around the same place, wasn't it? I think we, we, we was in Newcastle for like two days before my birthday. Oh, I remember saying that because then you went out thinking about the week after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pagola. No, the Pagola uh, was his you birthday. You went out for a meal with your with your other pals. Yeah, and we went. We, we, we done Newcastle for it. Yeah. I, I, I can't we believe went, that. We I'm gutted they've shut Pagola. I know. That was fucking sick. We went to Pagola for my birthday. Yeah, yeah. That was a great day. Well, is that permanently closed? Yeah. the renovating it to give it to fingers building flats or something oh really? no yeah that's gutsy oh, well, i think that was, one, that was always the case apparently was that that, that was always gonna happen yeah they just had it for like a lease but oh, that's gutted they're man. opening a new one but i don't know where but. we need to find a new we need to find a new spot because obviously we rinsed prints last year we haven't got a new spot this year we need to find a new gaff for the summer i'm sure we yeah. can find one bro don't get it wrong up. i will go back to the prince for at least a, a one day oh yeah of course yeah Definitely. yeah 100 the prince is a great day you can't not go there bro. oh yeah, the prince is a yeah. spot Goes the only problem is their fucking security a, a bunch a bit of wankers yeah, yeah yeah they're just sort of knows. Yeah, i'm not getting into this conversation are you, are you reckon, would you try and attempt to come out there or not yeah they've never banned me for life i've been there three times been kicked out three times and honestly no, for no why, reason bro. so weird no, yeah, she got picked up, kicked up for no reason. Oh, no. Maybe me and you fucking haggling, bro. And they wouldn't, wouldn't they could not get him back why. in. Don't know, it's not dodgy. Like, probably. Maybe you look like, um, I don't know. Little do they know he's there. a teddy bear? <laughs> a hairy one. A hairy one. A hairy one, yeah. Right, ah. should we go into these dilemmas? Come on, let's talk a little bit about and then we'll get onto our own life ones after yeah, this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some lad chat for the boys and then we'll go into some proper dilemmas after. Okay, some cool. Of, some of these are proper good. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to start off with the one from the weekend. This is how it all spiraled. We were just having our own conversation. We was like, do you know what? This would be this a funny conversation for the boys. So the first one I'm going to kick you off with, boys, right? For £50 million, are you letting your mum spend a year in prison and without telling her the reason why? Or how long she's going to be there? Yeah, or how long she's in there. Who wants to go first? Go on, Mac. <sighs> so you've got to send your mum for, to prison... For one year. For one you year. You go and visit her every week, but she don't know why she's in there. Obviously, <laughs> there is no reason at all, but they don't tell her. They don't. She doesn't know how long she's going to be in there for, but on the 365th day, she's released from prison. You're out the front and £50 million get transferred into your bank account. Which cat is it? Cat A. <laughs> <laughs> Broadmoor. <laughs> With all the fucking murders on <laughs> nah, there. No, what? Even cat C, just standard. Open prison. I think morally I couldn't do it. Mum, you're going in prison for a year. <laughs> 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 I don't think I could do Mom, it. Mum, I love you to bits, but I, afterwards your life's changed forever. <laughs> so. I, I purely couldn't do it on the basis of how old my mum is. It, she would deteriorate really quickly. You think? Yeah. I don't yeah. think my mum could survive in, in a prison, bro. My mum could 20 years ago. My mum could no, now. My my mom mom yeah, could. the age is a There's bit. There's no though. way I'm doing it. No way. Maybe. 100 mil. 51? 50 Maybe. mil. I would have said yes to 51. Like 50 mil, no. I, I couldn't do it. I could, I, my mum would. Yeah. Yeah, but your, your mum's... <laughs> He's like, she's in the EDL. She's seen worse, mate. My mum's been in prison. It. That's different. She's got experience. <laughs> Fuck's sake. My mum's going in. My mum is the softest thing in the planet, but she's going in prison. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, she's going to put your mum in prison for 50 quid. For 50 million pound, you're going in the nick, mum. 
I'll write to you every week. You can read loads of books. You can write lo loads of poems. And when you come out, we're moving to the fucking Bahamas, mate. Bosh. I can do it. Yeah. I'd like to, but I couldn't. I'd like to. All right, next. For £50 million, would you let your best friend spend one year in prison yes. knowing they're innocent? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> they're they're yeah. only going to finish I'll, it. I'll you all in. <laughs> Fucking I'll, hell. I'll take it on the chin. I'll be like, yeah, just give me like 25 mil of it. <laughs> you wouldn't yeah. know though to the end of it. Huh? Yeah, but when, when we find out, then it's calm, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't even hesitate. Yeah. For £50 million, would you erase all memories of your loved ones? No. Mm. No. Some of my no. best memories yeah. of my parents. I would not do that. Then you start from scratch and it'd be like yeah. awful, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would not do no, that. No, no. Yours? No. no. Couldn't, man. Memories everything, isn't it? No. Memories are everything, aren't they? Yeah, yeah literally. What's the point? For £50 million, pounds, would you give up all your possessions and live as a homeless person for a year? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, all day long. I would. I'd actually get like mentally stimulated by trying to survive that year. <laughs> I'd yeah, like, proper challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I like. See how we look like. What can, I, what can I gather? Just what, 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 the year. What, <laughs> after high. What, what can I gather? Well, how can I keep myself warm? What can I do? Obviously, I'm not. Obviously, I know it's probably ho horrible. Do you know what I try and do? I try and get. Have I got money still before I go homeless? No, you're home. You're, just, you're homeless. You're nothing. That's what, it. The bank counts me straight. I, I, I give you a hundred pound cash. That's it. No, no, fuck that. You got to beg. Like. I, you, you gotta like ask for money. They give you a hundred quid. You can pack a back backpack of stuff, and that's it. You're out. A hundred quid. That's all you got to start off with. But to start, and that's it. Do you reckon it's worse to be homeless here or homeless somewhere else in Europe? Here, I reckon. <sighs> Anywhere that's cold. Ooh, yeah, cold isn't great. Yeah, but what are the like? Uh, what are the streets like? Yeah. Because I would, I, I'd use a hundred quid to get a cheap Where, flight to Europe, like right? Ryanair or something. Oh no, 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 no. Here, it's here. You're in the UK. You're homeless in the UK. Oh right, okay, then. Some yeah, so much context, yeah, no yeah. context. You're homeless, you're homeless in, UK, bro, in London. In lo you're homeless. Yeah, hundred percent. I do it yeah, all I'll day long yeah, for fifty mil. For fifty mil, hundred percent. Okay, That's, yeah. I think you've needed. I'll well. do it. Yeah, I'll do that. Great story. So like, I made it for nothing. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for fifty million pounds, would you endure extreme physical pain for one month? Do you think we need some what? contact? Yeah, yeah. You can't, that's that's ridiculous. Like, what yeah. do you mean, like consistently? Like forever? Is it a break? Yeah, you're going to be in pain every day. You, like what? what type uh, of pain? No, no context. You're just in pain. You know, like a hangover. You know, you can't explain a hangover pain. Like bowel pain. Like you're just in pain. Like your body's aching. What? You're hurting. Like you're just in pain, man. Can for I take medication month. for one month? No, fuck off with your context. For fifteen million pounds, <laughs> would you endure in physical pain for a month? Yes, I'd do it for a month. I wouldn't. Yeah. For one month. For one yeah. month. Every day. Yeah. I don't know Even in your sleep. Yeah. Like no, you're all right. Your sleep is. You, nah. you, I mean, your sleep's broken, isn't it? Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Okay. Just last question. I know you said no context, but is there any possibility of me dying from this pain? No. 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 Then yes, I would, I would do it. For, yeah, of course I would. They're do just it. In, they're just incurring pain. Oh, you know when you're really like ill and you have like the shits and you're proper like. Yeah, you're bent up. Oh, I've been bent up for a week before, so I reckon I could do four. For one month. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Isolate yeah. yourself for four weeks. 50 mil, isn't it? 50 mil is a lot of money. For 50 million pounds, would you cut off all tires with your loved ones and disappear without a trace? No. No. It'd be pointless having the money. So true. Some of, the, some of the richest people are the most unhappiest, aren't they? Yes and no. Yeah. I would say so. I don't know, bruv. Mm. I, I think know. I think there is, I think there probably is a high amount of people that are unhappy that are yeah, rich. Definitely, but yeah. I'd, Priority is, being, is happiness is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but I think I'd, I'd be just as happy if I had 50 mil or if I didn't. Yeah, I can agree with yeah, that. Yeah, if I, if, I, if I lost all my loved ones and had 50 mil, I'd be very unhappy. Yeah. yeah the money would mean nothing. Absolutely nothing to me. Yeah, all nothing. I'd want is my friends back and my mm. family back. Agreed. For 50 million pounds, would you live in constant fear of persecution for the rest of your life? No. 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 What's the spells like getting killed? No, no, no. It'd be, it'd be like the, the, the old biller after, Persecute, basically. Like, yeah, yeah, basically yeah, looking yeah, out your window, blind watching all the time. Oh, and that. Yeah, long, looking over your shoulder. I don't do a paranoia now. Well, a paranoia now. No. Never mind fucking. <laughs> the whole of yeah. my life. No, thinks people are following him in the car. <laughs> nah, the other day he's like, bruv, has he fucking turned left again? And I'm like, who are you talking about? He's like, no, that's right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's turned right. <laughs> right so, in America, bro, I'll be strapped up, I tell you. I, would, I really would. I don't trust anyone. Ooh. For 50 million pounds, would you work in a. Uh, in a job, you just. <laughs> you sound like you were like, what's that fucking show? He wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, call a friend. Chris Tarrant, Anu, welcome back. We've got Bob here sat with us, and Bob is a school teacher from Bristol. Where's Bob in like, all of these white names? Yeah. For it's 50 Bob. million pounds, would you work in a job that you despise for a decade? Yeah, bro, people do it for free now. <laughs> he's he's not wrong. Yeah. What's the spy? Like, what, like, How old am fucking I? Fucking hate. How old am I? Now. 
Ten years for ten 50 years. mil. Ten? No ten way. Years. No. For a decade. Ten years. So, I'm when, gonna... you, so when you're 20, 39, you've got 50 mil. I reckon I'm going to make 50 mil before 39 Fuck anyway. you, Buster. Yeah, I agree, but <laughs> I think the average, the normal person is not going to make 50 mil in their life. Yeah, but we're not years. average and I'm I not agree, fucking setting 10 years of my life Yeah, I shit. wouldn't do it either, but I think a lot of people... Time is worth it's more than money. Yeah. Yeah. Like necessity, you'll never get back. Yeah, no way. Yeah. Never trade in time for that money. Ever. No, I, I wouldn't either, but I think some people would. For 50 million pounds, would you commit a crime and serve time in prison for five years? Yes. What's the crime? <laughs> but yes. At this age, no. I'll do that. What's the crime? No. Oh, I don't know. Fucking robbing, wait, 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 wait. Rob, robbing a bank. Wait, wait, wait. For 50 mil? Yeah. Five years in prison? Yeah. Billion. And you've got to do the crime as well. Yeah. What's the crime? I don't know. Rob a post office. Post so you do it for five years, but you wouldn't work a shit job for ten years. I'd yeah, rather do the five years than the ten. What years. are you joking, five, bro? Yeah, you you got your own piece. You're in your own cell. You get read books. You get to go to gym every day. You get three yeah. meals a day. Tape done it. So can we smoke a cigarette? Get up. He was. He went in there five years, bro. <laughs> five years. Well, imagine that waking up Tuffin, hey, Bosh. That's what? ten mil a year, bro. Who's paying bro, you ten mil a year? You're not even working, bro. You're just chilling. Going to gym every day. Three you, meals. You lost five yeah. years of like the best part of your life. Yeah, but you, you're not. At least you're not gonna be old. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be fucking thirty-three. Yeah, I suppose a lot, a lot happens in You felt he's great. For 50 million pounds, would you undergo a dangerous medical experiment with uncertain outcomes? Nah. What, you mean like the whole of the UK when they took the jab? Just like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. There we go, in the comments oh, they come. Put that into a real. <laughs> Put that into a real. Cut the words. Do you know what I thought about today? But this is really funny. I was sat on the toilet wiping my ass. Thank you. And I thought Cheers. to myself, how must those feel now? Of those people that went to like all the supermarkets and loaded up on toilet paper when they were, the whole scare was coming out about COVID. I don't understand. Like, how fucking stupid must Ignorance them people though, feel? Isn't it? But you know what? People... Remember, there's a whole thing with yeah. it. You couldn't buy a toilet roll because yeah. people were buying right. fucking 500 but rolls of it. The same thing happened with fuel stuff. as well. Do you remember? They were like, there's going to be a fuel strike. Everyone bought fuel. There's no fucking fuel left. Yeah. Weird as fuck. I heard a theory on that. This is a conspiracy theory. Go on. I heard the fact that apparently. And Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. There's a uh, expiry date on fuel. Nah, I don't. Wait, hear me out. Sorry, go on. There's an expiry date on fuel. And where we was in the pandemic and people weren't using fuel as much because obviously they didn't have to get about as much. We had, um, what's, the, uh, what's the, when you've got loads of something, it's called- um, An abundance. Sur- no, we had a surplus of fuel. Right. So we had loads of fuel and it had an expiry date on it. So apparently there was a fake story made that we was on a fuel sh- shortage. So everyone would go out and buy more fuel. So it would clean up the surplus that we had that created panic. And then that got rid of the expired fuel. You never know. Maybe Could be. Sorry, I, when you was about to say expired, I thought you meant expiry date. I thought you meant as in we're going to run out of oil. That's also a oh, complete no. boatload of bullshit. Oh, yeah. Someone was telling me this the other day. They were like, oh, we're going to run. I was just like, Mate, I just don't There's oil that in other places yet that they've not even started digging in. Yeah. And like the whole banning of petrol cars and diesel cars. And it's now they're, scam. they're all like taking scam. back electric cars. Do you know, know what it is? Either. Do you know why they're doing it? Do you know why they want you to have electric cars? They got announced the other day from 2026, they are trying to put in to your vehicles, every single car will have a tracker and immobilizer in it that is governed by the government. Mm. Matter of control, isn't it? And that isn't a conspiracy theory before you jump in the comments. Yeah, that's that is- a fact. That's what they're trying to push that legislation through at the minute. From 2026, every car will have basically a tracker and a, a basically a kill switch. Oh, you didn't yeah, pay your bills. Oh, you didn't pay your yeah. mortgage. Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. Can't yeah, get anywhere. Can't See you later. Shut off. I'll take your Done. car off you. Makes sense. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, I think it goes bigger than that as well. But we again, we're going to get called conspiracy kings if we go too far into stuff. But there's I loads. Don't mind that. Don't mind it. No. I think it's a it's a it's a very. No, I don't mind being called a conspiracy king, bro. Broad. Well, listen, I got called a conspiracy king the whole way through, well, not king, but I got called a conspiracy first the whole way through the pandemic and nearly everything I said was technically right. Yeah. And just to clear up, anyone who's new to the pod, I've never said it isn't real, but I was saying most of the things they were coming out with was a load of bullshit and it turned out I was right in the end. But again, you're only right when you're right. Yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? I could have been wrong, but well, I, was I was right. right. <laughs> so. For 50 million pounds, would you endure public humiliation and ridicule for one year? I'm doing no. it for free now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm paying for it. I'm going on a pod every weekend and public humiliating <laughs> yeah. myself. So yeah, yeah you, I'll do that. for one year I'll do that. 100. percent Yeah. Well, it depends like what the. Oh like, yeah. They're, they're just like, like the piss out of you and pop leads and others. Not like standing naked in the street. No, you oh get, no, you nothing get like that. Oh, okay. leash. oh really? No, no. You get walked around in a leash. <laughs> you do that anyway, else, don't you? <laughs> Only in stores. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> um, no, there's certain things you can't come back from as well. Yeah, like that is one Reputation, of them. You know, yeah. you know the word I'm looking for? Yeah, yeah. It, rhymes, like it rom- rom- rhymes with speedos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. That's no, nothing like that. No, but what I'm saying, if you're being publicly humiliated for something you actually haven't done, you, even if you haven't done it, you, you're tight with that brush and you can never... Well, no, after that year, they come down and say, no, it was all fake. It was all a... Thing. Yeah, but it's still in people's brains. It's still in people's brains. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to ask. This just reminded me of what we said on the weekend. It's a little bit different, but what would you rather... For £50 million, you're going to lose one of your senses. So what would, what, out of what sense would you lose for £50 million? I can choose the sense. Yeah. What, what? So when I say sense, touch, Completely. taste, hear, se- uh, smell, and see. Taste. Smell. Smell probably, yeah. Taste. Nah, bro, I enjoy it. Do you know what? I'd, yeah, I'd rather, I think I'd rather lose my smell than my taste. Like some things do smell good, <clears throat> like aftershaves and. I don't know, man. I, mean, but, like, I know my like my family smell. I know what my. Like... But it's not that deep, is it? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> like if you if you couldn't smell, like ain't that deep, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake, boys. Especially if we're all living together, Fuck I'd rather mate. not smell. Yeah, do you don't. Uh, I'm. It's, it's got to be a toss up between taste and smell. <laughs> oh, why taste? Or what about touch? No, I like no. touching things. No, you can do. You just don't feel how soft something is. Do you know what I mean? What like a, <laughs> like, like coochie and that? <laughs> what are you doing there? Can't believe you let him violate you <laughs> like that. <laughs> I wouldn't take that. That was horrible. Come on, what would you lose? Apologise. <laughs> yeah, <don't worry. laughs> yeah, smell, bro. Uh, smell as well. Yeah. Over. Why not? T- why not touch? Just out of interest. Because I want to finger birds. Yeah. You can still do it. You just can't, you can't feel it. No, That's yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you can't feel yourself coming. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Exactly, it's part of your touch, isn't it? You'd never be able to feel that again. No, he's right. You wouldn't touch. No, I feel like someone else is giving you a handy boo. <laughs> no, but you wouldn't. <laughs> banging. No, but you're not getting what I'm saying. If if, if that's one of your senses, touch is a sense. Yeah. So when you ejaculate, that's in a sense, right? Surely, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you'd never feel that feeling again. Yes. Yeah. That's it's too much. Of a, too yeah. Much of a risk. That, oh, I was gonna... Go on. No, I can't say that. I'm, part of... I'm gonna come. <laughs> yeah, smell, bro. Right. Okay. Yeah, smell. I'm gonna go smell. Okay, fine. Um. For £50 million, pounds, would you live in a haunted house for a month? Yes. Yeah. It's calm. On your own, or? I don't know if I would, you know. Why? Really? Oh, yeah, bro. Fuck it's, it's all in your head. Why? I don't fuck around with spirits and that, man. That's I really best. don't. I really is, it don't. A- is it actually haunted? It's a haunted house. Like, gen- no, like genuinely, genuinely like... Not, I'm not talking like a fucking Thought Park you haunted house. You by yourself? Yeah, on your own. Fuck that. Odd, no yeah. way. 50 mil, I'm doing it. No, no way, way, bro. 50 mil? What, mom, one month? That's calm. We still got, like, bath and that, yeah. It's haunted, but what's do like- Do you want, you live by yourself. You have to add context to that though. What's happening in that gaff? That's, uh, that's I haunted. can't answer that, it's a haunted gaff. Can, can, they vi- can the ghosts violate you? <laughs> they might do if you leave your bum hanging out the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave your feet out of the bed, the ghosts will come eat it. Yeah, is that your like, your ass. For <laughs> 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 oh, sake. For 50 million pounds, would you sacrifice a limb? No. no. Mm, never. For 50 mil? No. For a finger? What? No, a limb. So no. you take a piece? Leg. No, no way. No. I wouldn't do it for 100 mil. I wouldn't sacrifice any limb on my body uh, for any kind same. of money ever. I'd lose a finger, bro. A finger, yeah. No, a limb. No. no. Nah. What about yeah. half a limb? No. Nah. Well, that's worse, right. bro. What's that? Why is that any different? <laughs> yeah, well, how's that going to benefit you? <laughs> yeah. oh, I've got a bit extra here. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I would consider a leg. What? Are you fucking high? <laughs> you would take a leg for 50 mil. Yeah. You're mental, I mate. That. A leg. Do you like, know how much you would it off from there and put a, pros- a, pro- a prosthetic leg on? Obviously, you got no, to get you a pro- No, you don't get a prosthetic leg. No, no, yeah, no. you do. Mate, 50 million pounds, I'd have the best fucking prosthetic. No, I'd have one. a better leg than any of you, boys. No, you're not allowed one. No, that's not in the rule book here. No, I'm, I'm, no, the I'm the games keeper we're adding, here. We're adding the it don't know. It don't no, work. That's you're ridiculous. Mad, you choose you a leg. Do you know how life. much you use your legs, bro? Yeah, I'd put a fucking metal one on what it. About man. An ear? Climbing them mountains, I'd be breathing it up there, boy. What about an ear? No, it's not a limb. It's not a limb. No, but I'm just asking, like, what would you, would what? you lose in it? For 50 million quid? Yeah. Yeah, I'd fucking. Yeah, I would. I'd post it to a girl like Van Gogh as well. Is it your mind now? I'm not listening. Lose an ear, you'd look so, you wouldn't look good, bruv. Who gives a fuck? I've got 50 million quid in the bank, bruv. Nah, man. Not 50 mil. Oh, definitely. Not an ear. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I should ask this one. Why not? I'm going to ask it and maybe cut it. For 50 million pounds, would you spend a year in a, war to- in a war-torn country risking your life every day? No. Well, I know that's a very sensitive subject in a minute. So It's sensitive, but it's reality. So, yeah, you, so and mean, these our, people, our hearts go out to everyone that's involved. And in these that. people are actually living that without the £50 million pound so, reward every day. Yeah. And I wouldn't wish out my worst enemy, so I'd say no. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah. For £50 million, pounds, would you give up all forms of communication with the outside world for a year? Yeah. <laughs> do, it, do it tomorrow. Mm. Do it for free. I'd fuck off to Bali straight away, go to some mountain and just yeah, live in the trees. Yeah, you know that. What? Yeah, but you're adding your own context again. You can't do that. Well, you've got, you got to be at home. 
In England? Yeah. Well, I can play PlayStation. In your though. Potter room. <laughs> Potter. 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 Should we tell the story about Potter? Yeah, go on. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> me, me, the worst person you can even pair me up with, like, is him, him if we're going with the brown birds, because he just, we just feed off each other just disgusting stuff. <laughs> And then second in place, when it comes to banter and stuff and being abusive, like it's funny abuse, it's not horrible abuse, is Ellis. That was the original one as well. Ellis is just fucking nightmare to go out with him. We make each other a lot worse. Like we should bring him on pod one day. He's terrible. Like some of the outrageous stuff he says probably, he probably won't want to even come on pod because it just ruined him. Anyway, so we're in the toilet, me and him in the farmhouse and there's one toilet to go for a shit in the, in the farmhouse and one of us needed a shit. We're banging on the door. We're like, Come on, hurry up, mate. It's taking, it's taking a while. I was in there for about five minutes. Like, fuck me, bro. I'm hanging out for a shit. <laughs> anyway, this geezer comes out. Oh, fucking shit, you not, bro. It's like, what is it, March? This geezer comes out with a scarf around his neck, his hair back, and he's got glasses on. He looked like a miniature Harry Potter. <laughs> and, and, I, and I went, what was you doing in there, Potter? <laughs> <laughs> and this poor kid's going, oh, oh boy, sorry, I'm allergic to dairy. And then he went, and then he went, what, you're allergic to dairy, Potter? <laughs> And he goes, what would Hermione think, Potter? <laughs> and we're, we're going in on this kid. And he's like, doesn't, oh, know, he doesn't know what to do, bro. Obviously, he's of, that, he's of age because he was obviously out in the fucking bar, but he looked about 10, but he was about, so, must uh, have been so about 18, funny, 19. Poor kid, bro. He's walking out there. Ellis was going, go on, on your way. He's squirrely arm as Potter. <laughs> and he has, he's walking out, bro. Oh, mate. He was grinning. The kid was grinning, but it was like, he didn't know what hit him. He That's just walked so out funny. from his shit. He didn't know what to do. The whole place stunk of shit as well, bro. It was so oh, bad. Oh, poor he must kid. have been embarrassed. I mean, he had, but he had a scarf on, like the Gryffindor. You know, like when they got those <laughs> scarves on and that. Fucking hilarious. Did you, hear, did you hear what he said to the security guard, Ellis, when we were walking back in? And then they were letting uh, the security guards checking up uh, thingies. And then the security guards got glass on as well. And Ellis is like, cheers, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> security guard was like fucking hell every time someone says it <laughs> <laughs> for 50 million pounds would you permanently alter your appearance in a drastic way Ooh, like... well, well Mark does that all the time for free so <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Apologise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry Mark <laughs> I, I, I don't know what, what do you mean by like yeah drastic? that needs context you can't like, okay. shave your hair um... off or like get fat or what what could it look like I'm getting fat for 50 mil I'd get fat 50 mil. Would I'd just lose it again. Mm. It's permanent now. Oh, no. So it's per- would you the permanently... Like would you permanently... <laughs> would you permanently alter your appearance in a drastic way? Probably not, you know. No, probably... No. Right, well, drastic answer. doesn't mean bad. It could be mean good. So, like, shave your hair off? I don't know. I'd shave my hair off 50 mil, yeah. I'm nearly there anyway. So what it is. That's not drastic. People do it for free, bro. I don't want to look yeah, It's not going to be in a good way, is it? If we're talking for 50 mil. But what could you possibly do? They're going to say that, drastic in a negative way. give you way. like a permanent monobrow. No, no fuck, fuck that. that. I'd rather have it. <laughs> 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 I already had one, mate. Oh, dollar, dushmer, dollar, the derin. What did he say? Anything then? Nah, no, it means nothing. never says anything. We're all good. It means nothing. <laughs> okay, so no is the answer to that then, yeah. is it? No. Okay, fine. Fair enough. For 50 million pounds, would you live in a remote location with no access to modern amenities for a year? Yeah, all yeah. day long. That'd be cool. That'd be yeah, it would be cool. I'd like that. A nice little yeah. detox from the world. You know I, I really want to go on one of them dark retreats. But you do. I really do, man. I'm not a big fan of all of that stuff, boys. I ain't gonna lie. Like what? I don't think you could handle it. That's you know, what? like when they're like drinking potions. No, and like, you've got, got a towel helmet. over their head, like bile's coming out of their stomachs and that. No, so it's a dark retreat, right? He's a fucking, <laughs> you are. Honestly, Mel. something else, mate. A dark retreat is basically where you go underground, essentially, and it's almost in complete darkness, and you stay under there for as long as you want. Usually a week is like pretty much the max, I think. Most people do two or three days, and then you come out, and apparently it's just meant to be fucking revitalising. No? No one give that a go, no? Probably not. It feels like a waste of time. Yeah. No, well, apparently it's meant to be amazing. It's I'm meant to be amazing. What do I gain from that? I'm not really sure, mate. It's just sort of like... So why the fuck would you want to do it? Because <laughs> you, you, you can't explain it until you do it. I'm not really sure, it. mate. You can't explain it until you do I'll it, right? Do it, yo. Imagine your eyes when you see light. Yeah, but they show people coming out and like they how they slowly, gradually build your eyes. I bet they all start crying. Like they all do. They do yeah. all start crying. Bunch of melts. <laughs> yes, boys. Hope you're enjoying this pod. I hope you get some life lessons from it. Hit the subscribe button if you want some more life lessons. 50 million pounds. Would you take on the identity of a wanted criminal for a year? Yeah. yeah. What's my what's the offence? I don't know. Drug importation. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We'll we'll off the Marbella yeah. or something and chill there for a bit. I like the business. Probably Ooh. four birds of yeah, I don't know. I think I know the answer to this one. Yeah. For fifty million pounds, would you live with a chronic illness for the rest of your life? No. 
a chronic illness for the rest of your life. Yeah. But am I going to live the same amount? Of yeah, time yeah. As... You're going to live the same amount of times you would anyway. They call it eighty-five. So like Mason's hernia. Pretty much. That's not a chronic. What illness. is a chronic illness? <laughs> Crohn's disease. Nah, fuck that, bro. Fuck health health, you health before anything, bro. I, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Is, bro, bro. Yeah, I agree. There's yeah. no point having all the money if you ain't got the health. I agree. Bro. I completely agree. Um, for fifty million pounds, would you give up your freedom and live under constant surveillance for a year? Mm, for one year. Yeah. So give up my freedom for a year. What do you mean freedom? Yeah, like you can't come and go as you please. Like you can't just pop out. I suppose really when you want. That yeah. sounds like prison. Like on time. Yeah, you can go to your work and got like stuff like that, but that's blessed. You can't go on holiday for one year. You just can't yeah. have a life basically. Yeah. Just, you, can I go just... play PS Five and shit? What indoors? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you can't. What are you talking no, about? I'll do that for free, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. So what? So I'll get fifty mil. Yeah, I'll do for that. Just chilling at home. So, yeah, bro, all day long, oh, bro. We we'll just set the pod up there as well. Yeah. Imagine all the money you save from the money that you earn because <laughs> you're not going out. All that. No chopping either, though. No, he didn't say that. No, but I'm saying it. Just because I know, like, you said already, yes, I'm trying to see how far. I just have to get a prediction again. <laughs> Paul Neva. Again. What yeah. you just, just Give it up last week. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear something? Go on. Who is it? I can't say any names again, specific because people figure out who it was. My. Oh, no, I can't even say that. Basically, someone. Oh, bro, this. Uh, fuck them, actually. I don't give a fuck about these people anyway. Someone's left a laptop around their ex's house. I mean, how can I explain this in a better way that gives you more context? Right, so you've broken up with your bird mm-hmm. and you've left your laptop around her house. Yeah. She somehow got onto your iMessage and onto your Safari history because it's linked to your iPhone. And apparently, said boy has, she's gone through his history, watches from 7 a.m. in the morning all the way through to 9 o'clock at night, all day, constantly on it while he's at work, all the time, constantly watching porn. From the minute he wakes up to the minute oh. he goes to sleep. Apparently, the history was literally Monday through to Friday, constant times next to it as well. Just... I that I genuinely believe, just because we're not even in the circus, I reckon that's happening everywhere. No, that's a problem. That's a big problem. I don't think guys watch that there's, there's, much, there's, mate. How, like, would, you know? hell, like, how would you know? There's levels of it. There's how would you know? I, would, I, didn't, I didn't think that existed. He can't be the only person. There must be loads of people like that. That's not even like... I thought a point was just having a beat fucking five days a week. No, that's not no, an not, addiction. That's, it that's is. what I... That, it is. Yeah, that wait, is wait, fucking wait, hell. Yeah. It is. Wait, five days a week. Smashing before. your monkey five times a week. Oh, that's an addiction. That's bro. an addiction, bro. Is I it? suppose, yeah. yeah. As long as it's not over. No. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Just, it's not a porn addiction, but that's... A, I don't think it's... I, I, I don't... I'm not <laughs> bird doing it. Then you're all right. I don't... I don't Wanking is too much of an issue if there's not porn involved. I don't, yeah, you shouldn't be wanking five times a week. I don't think it's good for you. What? Don't be scared. Like, no, no, I, no, no, I agree, but I think it makes it 10 times worse if you're watching. Yeah. By the way, we're not, we, we've all been guilty of this at some point. So this is not like I was saying. So I know loads of you watching probably all fucking, which I'm saying you shouldn't, but I'm saying I think a lot worse if you've got the with it. Yeah. Corn. No one thinks without corn anymore, I don't think. What about nudes from a bird? Does that, I, that doesn't do it for me. And again, I reckon that's because I've been so desensitized from. I prefer, I like nudes. Yeah, I like nudes. I like nudes don't really do it. Yeah, I like nudes. What? Like I get into it in, in that split moment, but I can't then refer back to what just. I don't know, bro. No. Yeah, you're going to get some proper sexy. Was it context with it? Depends what it is. Oh, she said, like, like, she's a random like, nude. Like, she's, yeah, she's it's a bird it. you're chatting to. Yeah. Like, if it's a random nude, I can't really get it. If she says, like, I want you here doing X, Y, and Z to me right now and like, looking like this, then I can get onto that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't just get a little just random. random one. Yeah, random nude. Oh, yeah, no, I'm talking about, like, you're not, you're not talking to her at that time, but you know, you think, oh, she sent me some naughty stuff. I'll close my eyes and wank, bro. What, you fucking 18? Yeah, yeah, but that's, quite, that's, 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 that's quite. That's good. good. That's what I used to do. It is good. Bro. Yeah, you can't slate them flat. That's good. It is good. I can yeah. do it, but it's good. Really? I could do it. I could, bro. If he does it, it in his little beanbag chair, isn't it? Just sitting at home. What <laughs> 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 beanbag chair? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it, me, bro. I ain't got beanbag you chair. You do, bro. bro. Don't lie, bro. I've got a sofa. L shape. Clean spuzz all day and then fucking. Yo's got a beanbag. Yeah, it's in my living room though. Yeah. You went downstairs today. <laughs> Your mum and dad sit down there. Oh, eh? For fuck's sake. No, I um no, I think if you're gonna do it without it's the best option or don't do it at all. Yeah. I agree. But you gotta understand something, yeah. When we're always having these conversations, you're assuming everyone has the same access to women that we do. And I'm not saying that in a gloaty way, but we do True. have a very fortunate access to women that I feel like sometimes we overlook. And again, I'm not saying this in a braggy way or not, because this is just the reality. I'm not just saying like we're fucking down balls there or whatever, but we're not really short of women. So we've been in 
my, my, my young years, I fucking didn't get no pussy. So like, this is I'm not just saying I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't lose, I, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 17. Yeah, I think I was like that. Like, yeah. it, it was, this is not like always been the case. I'm not saying I'm fucking got birds around me all the time, but we're quite in a fortunate position where we are. So when we have these conversations, we assume everyone else has the same luxury as us, if you can call it that. And then you feel like, oh, well, you shouldn't be doing this. But, bro, some people don't have any action at all ever. Look at the statistics we run out last time. Sexless right. society, you know. Sexless society. So, like, it's easy for us to be on our castle. What is it called? On our hill? What's it called? When you on your high hill. On, yeah, it's, on it's, your high horse. Yeah, it's easy for us to be on our high horse saying, oh, don't do this, don't do this. And again, I still advocate don't doing it. But I can understand how easy you can fall into that trap if you haven't got constant women around you or you've got access, easy access to women as such. So... The only way you can get around that is unfortunately, not unfortunately, the only way you can get around that is by leveling up. Because Do you know what though? We're not <clears throat> on that, what we push in this pod, like we ain't done anything special. No. We've just gone to the gym, just looked after ourselves. Work normal jobs. We go on holiday. Yeah. We go, like I say, we train and we just look after ourselves. That's it. Yeah. yeah. If we all pulled up photos of when we were younger, well, majority, mate, so I think you was quite good looking during school. You used to get pussy in school. I never used to get pussy in school. You did, yeah. I ne- I didn't. So I've literally experienced both ends of the spectrum. I've I, in school. I didn't have. I was de- dead thing. I didn't get. Did you, mate? <laughs> no, bro. Really? No, not until I was like twenty odd, twenty one. Even then, bro. Maybe like twenty three, twenty four. What was you like in school? It was late in the game. Mate, I was on job. Yeah, but I was clapped, and I don't know how I did it. I don't think I realised how ugly I was. <laughs> do you know? Do you know when you're just oblivious? Yeah, yeah. But like, you say that. I when- was. I was so confident, like. When I was 16, 17 and that, I was I was still like getting birds, but I was clapped as well. But I think you're like, you're deluded with the confidence. You don't realise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then- I wasn't clapped, but I'm just saying- yeah, I mean, if, compare, if you compare yourself now to course, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or, or compare yourself to fucking what 16, 17 year old boys look like now. Yeah, yeah. fucking hell. Jesus. The game has changed, mate. If I was up against these young guns now, I wouldn't even stand a chance. Yeah, like, no, right. no chance at but all. But then you would have probably been different at that. That's true. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Comparing generations to generations. But yeah, like but the only boys, the only way to get around that, if you're thinking, oh, well, boys, it's easy for you because you're with girls. The only way you can get around that situation is exactly what we did, and which was nothing special, like Mason said, is level up. Go gym, look after yourself, get your bread up, and then just fucking eventually, the, and get confident, get mm. get around women. Get around... Right. Get around with. I'll tell you that's mm. the only way you're going to learn how to speak to women is get around women. Yeah, chat to them and get rejected, boys. Get rejected. Yeah, Rejection's get rejected, fun, man. Get rejected. I love getting rejected. If you think about it, though, it's in your twenties you start to actually like get female attention because when you're mm. in that little grey area of like being sixteen going on to maybe twenty. Well, I don't know. Girl, no, but no. But think, I know what you're saying. Think about what I'm going to say. So girls that are about like 17, 18, 19, they're going for guys that are about like 20, 21. So for some guys, they are in a bit of a grey area. It might not have been for you, but for a lot of people, it is like that. That's why I feel like women, oh, sorry, guys get more attention in their 20s than they yeah, do. Yeah, sure. I understand. Younger, so You're also from a different age, Mason. You weren't part of the Instagram era. Like nowadays. Oh, I see. Right, okay. These yeah, girls yeah. are going for older boys. Yeah. I'm why right. would they settle for a guy that's got a course when they can get with a guy that's got a Range Rover? Yeah, and they sure, know yeah, that yeah. they can have access to these guys. It's true. I ain't got a Range Rover, by the way. <laughs> but I'm saying it's true. Why yeah, would they? You, 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 you're 19 years old. You're hot. You're, you're fake boobs. And then you've got some guy who's 19 years old driving a fucking beaten out Corsa. Bless you, brother. We've all been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all there, boy. We've all Yeah, well, why, like Polo? But why is she going for you when mm. she can be with Mr. Range Rover who can drive around and buy all fancy things while you're in your Tesco age? Don't need to, don't need to Do you know what? Now, talking about that, that loud now, boy, that must be hard being in the game being this it, age it, now. It is, because they've got girls got options now. Girls, being, that type, being that age, man. Girls never had, girls weren't really in the driver's seat back in the day. Men have always been in the driver's seat. Now girls have got the option because girls all have value because of Instagram mm. and all these social platforms, which they never had in the past. Yeah. Girls now have value that they never had before, so they can now be picky what men they get with. And there's such a variety. There's a catalogue for men and women. There's on both sides, but women are the prize. Like if you're a pretty woman and you, you can now pick your man, you can, like a few of his photos you know guaranteed you're gonna have a DM off this guy in seconds do you know what, what I think that's gonna be now talking about it out loud like that and explaining it that's gonna be so damaging to relationships over the next 10 years because the really young girls are used to that calibre they get the guys will throw them away the older boys will because then yeah. eventually they'll get with an older woman that's got a bit more savvy about her and want to settle down and have kids so that, that they'll just be a throwaway toy mm. the girls will then grow up wanting and expecting the same level of treatment they got when they were younger get a, probably just a normal bloke and think this is fucking boring and they just won't settle and they'll be single to them and that's why they reckon I can't remember the stat now but they reckon by X like 2035 what something ridiculous that like 80% of women aged up to like 40 years old will be single and childless mm-hmm. something like that yeah 
No. Boys, the only way to get out of this issue we're, we're talking about, because this issue has been created right now in real mm. time. There's nothing you can do to fight it. So the only thing you can do to co combat it yourself is leveling up yourself. Mm. There's no other way around it. There's always going to be a guy richer than you. There's always going to be a guy in a better position than you. The only way you can get around it is leveling yourself up and becoming the best version of yourself and yep. then you have more options. Otherwise, you will just get left behind. There's nothing mm. you can do. I worked in Tesco's. I had a polo. We've all had fucking shit jobs. We've all had shit cars. But the only way you can get out of this rut is by literally leveling yourself up because otherwise you are just going to be Joe Bloggs, another person that's forgot about but no one gives a fuck about. And work hard, man. Like there is no, take that. I think people think today that they don't want to work hard or no. shouldn't have to work hard. You need to work your fucking ass off, bruv. Like whether that's working for yourself and starting your own business or working for someone. Like, there's at, like I work for someone, Joe works for someone. Like there's nothing work with, wrong with working for a, a proper solid business, building up your fucking, how you actually talk to clients and how you build rapport, how you deal with customers, how you find new business, how you negotiate contracts, how you then build and maintain relationships with clients and that then leads on to other business and you begin to network and you know climb a corporate ladder. Like, I know people in the corporate ladder that earn a fucking good living and make a, and have a really good life. So get that disillusion out of your head of, oh, I, don't, I can't be asked to work hard, I'm better than that. Work your fucking ass off until you're, if you start working your ass off now at 18, you could look at retiring by the time you're 40 years old and that, is, and that will go like that. I would also, but also, to add on to that, if, in my opinion, again, I haven't got to this point yet, but this is the plan. My opinion, do what he said, but use that job as a springboard to put yes. you into self or something better because I, I personally don't think people should be working until they're 40. I know people do, so they're but, 40? Like you said, oh, so you can just retire when they're 40. But I, I want to get out of the Matrix way before that. I don't I'll be, be very happy if I retire at 40 years old. Bro. What, working for it. someone? Wait, wait, what, you want to work for someone until you're 40? No, whatever the case might be, I'm just saying. No, no working? Yeah, I want to work. Bro, I, I don't think I'll ever stop working. Yeah. I want to work forever. Mm. I want to work forever. But do I want to work for someone forever? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Absolutely no way. I want to get in and get out. Mate, I might, if I work another 10 years doing what I do... Like, it wouldn't bother me. If 10 I could, years is blessed. If I could, if I can get, but that means I've done it for 20 years. Oh, fuck, you're nearly 40. Do you know what I mean? If I, if I, in the next 11 oh years, if I could retire from working my corporate life to just having a few properties and we've got our business and stuff, like, I'm fucking blessed, bruv. 40 years old, I'm, I'm retired. Yeah, bruv, I'm happy. Like, yeah, as long as I'm, happy. I don't, as long as I'm not working, for, I don't want to retire. I don't, I don't, I no. ever want to retire. I, don't, I really don't want to retire. Just retire from my corporate life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing your own thing. I want to be working, I want to be doing my own thing in the next fucking six to yeah, 12 six months. Years. Yeah. Oh, right. No, so, I was going to say yeah, 12 yeah, months. Yeah, I want to yeah, be yeah. in my own thing full time. Yeah. The problem is though, the, mo the corporate jobs that like you guys are thinking of, they're, they're quite like, it's like needling in a haystack in respect of what corporate job can you do realistically that you're going to retire by 40 by. So it's, 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 it's a bit of a... That's what I'm saying. You need to use uh, that money to springboard. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what yeah. I bounced off what Yo said. Like use your time wisely. And we're only just starting. I wish we'd... We didn't younger. have this knowledge when we were fucking 21, 22. Everyone was just like, you need to work hard and grind. Yeah, you do need to do that. But like you said, you have to use your nine to five to build your other hustles. And, mm. and use that nine to five and extract as much knowledge you can mm. from that nine to five that you can use that as a transferable skill into building a business or doing the same on the side as, yeah. as well. Because if you do stay in the system, you will just become another cockroach and you will just retire at 68 and then you'll be living on a fucking state pension or a private pension and then you'll be just doing the odd tenor trip yeah. here and there. It, it is important for people to understand though, if you are working for someone, it doesn't mean you're unsuccessful. At all. Not. Because the problem at is all. like... Um, because of social media and everything we're talking about, you're always kind of comparing yourself to other people and everyone's preaching the whole, get out of the matrix, don't work a nine to five. If you do that, then you're unsuccessful. unsuccessful. Some of those people are not dealt the same cars that you're dealt with. Some of those people are maybe given a platform or money certain somewhere to be able to build the business that they wanted to. So it's obviously on top of what you're saying, yes, try to get out of it. But if you are there, just focus on yourself. Like it doesn't matter if fucking mm -hmm. Joe Bloggs has already done it. He might be 30 and done it. You might be 40. Who cares? Like you just, what I'm trying to say is if you constantly compare yourself to people, then you're, you're never going to be happy. Do you but know what? I, I don't even think like, did I cut you off there? That's right. I don't even think, you know what? What I'm trying to say is if you, if you don't want to fucking retire early and you don't want to break out and do all these other things, that's absolutely fine as well. Like if you yeah, don't- if you want a mediocre life. It yeah. Is. If you want to just cruise through life, earn an okay wage- and stay in that job because you enjoy it for the rest of your life. Fucking good on you, mate. And fair play. Yeah, to if you want to do it, yeah, yeah, but you are settling for a mediocre life. But yeah, if you're happy absolutely. with that and you are genuinely happy and you can yeah. look yourself in the mirror and go, do you know what? I'm actually happy. I'm content. Got everything I want, then fair enough. Unfortunately, some people like yeah. us have got a fire burning inside of them where that ain't just good enough. And I'd say, I'd like to say that 
99% of the people that follow us and watch us no. want what we want. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what we're trying every, listen to everything we've said in that sense. And if you like, hopefully the demographic that listen to us are younger. Um, or even if it doesn't matter, Joe, you know well, fuck that. It doesn't, I don't care if you are 35, 40 and you want to start now, like start now. Cause hope you could do it in three years, five years. You could make a success in 12 months. You just don't know how lucky you're going to get. But yeah, don't, like I said, don't deem it as unsuccessful and use your fucking nine to five now to build the extra life that you want. And that also, unfortunately, will mean you are working double fucking hard. Mm. Like you will have to sacrifice going out on weekends. You will have to like kick the drink out um, and seeing birds and all them sorts of stuff. Like you will have to make those sacrifices, but it will absolutely be worth it in the end. Trust me. I think people deteriorate when they retire too early. Yeah, they do, mm-hmm. bro. I, I do. genuinely think they deteriorate because it's almost like you stop riding a bike and it gets rusty. I know so many people that don't need to work, but they carry on working yeah. because it keeps the lights on. It keeps that machine keep yeah. going. When I used to work in Chesterton's doing like lettings up in Hampstead, there's a lady called Simona, lovely lady, and she's still working now, bro. She's in her seventies, and, she and she goes out doing value, uh, doing like valuations on property. Bless her. But she loves doing what she does, and I was catching up with one of my pals that was that was working there previously. He's like, bro, she's still going, and the reason she won't stop is because she absolutely loves what she does. A and keeps, B, her, alive. It keeps her going. Yeah, like some people retire, and it's like, well, what are you actually doing? So essentially, if you're working towards retirement, you need to have things set in place where you're still active in your life. Yeah retirement doesn't just necessarily mean putting your legs up mm. and doing fuck all because fuck you will deteriorate. Yeah. Yeah. You always need to, like the human body is literally like a car. If you don't drive it, the fucking, uh, the battery's going to go, something's not going to work and you're fucked. So you always need to constantly be looking to do something else in your life, whether it's working or not, or traveling, whatever it is. So people, I'm, I'm not saying people that we are probably speaking to are there, but if you're thinking of retirement or if you're thinking of success, don't think success is just doing that and then fucking that's it. Spot on. Do you know when what? I was younger, that's what I used to think it was. I was like, I can't. When I was younger, I was very naive. I used to think, I, I didn't, I've only, my mindset shifted a lot in the last, I'd say, six, seven years. Because if you asked me six, seven years ago, I would I would have chose sitting indoors, playing PlayStation, over loads of things. I was like, proper loser mindset. Had no idea that mindset was even ingrained in me. It's only until I started like, growing up, speaking to different people, being exposed to different environments and seeing how people lived and stuff. I started realizing, wow, bro, I was a bit of a loser. Like, yeah. I used to love just chilling in bed and watching series back to back all the time and yeah. letting the, the days go by. I mean, I was thinking, this is sick. I love this. I was thinking, now look back, bro, you was a loser, bro. Like, you was doing Nixies. Yeah, I, got to the, I was going to gym maybe four or five times a week, but bro, I was doing nothing. What a waste of time. I wish I never wasted that time. Hindsight's a fine thing. Well, that's it. Well, I wouldn't be to this point now. Everything happens for a reason. Do you know what I'm saying? But for people watching, you might be still in the same circle, same cycle, same cycle. Use this maybe as a fucking bit of a kick up the ass to fucking get yourself out of bed and stop watching shit. Mm. I can't tell you the last time I watched a series the whole way through. I, I, I haven't turned my PlayStation on since March 2021. The only series yeah. I've watched in a very long time was The Gentleman very recently. Yeah. I watched that. I thought it was, yeah. was Pucker. I thought it was wicked. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If you've got no, the spare I don't time, think there's anything wrong with it. It's very late at night. I watch it. Yeah. Fuck it. But yeah. don't like, I don't wake up on a Sunday and be like, my whole day is going to be watching a series. Yeah. Yeah. I but that, that used to be me. Yeah. That used to be me. I used to love a Sunday. I used to go, go out the night before with the boys, get pissed up, get up on a Sunday, order a Domino's, and then just binge watch films all day. Yeah. Couldn't think of anything worse. No, I couldn't think of anything worse. That would literally drive me insane. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There'll be the odd one somewhere in the line yeah. I think we that, all did it once that's fine we, we, we did fine. it yeah we, yeah. we, we yeah. got that McDonald's yeah. Yeah. yeah we just fucking bit, but, but, but fucked up that was it we haven't done it since I think yeah. we've done it once in the whole time we've known each other mm. but I mean like people do that every weekend oh yeah, yeah. do you know what it is you've got to find the balance yes. between <clears throat> working hard and having fun as well yeah, if you course. want to just strictly just work sweet do what's good for you but realistically you don't want to be doing one less more than the other to some sort of respect mm. life, 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 yeah 100% life, percent, bro. I think personally life's what would um, this is a quick, just off that conversation boys what would you say you got given 50 million quid at the age of 35 right there you go mate there's 50 million quid you can in hot thingy retire what would you then do for the rest of your life like, how would you then want to live do you want me to tell you my whole plan go on if I had 50 million pounds right now this is I've had this plan in my head for ages I'd buy, I don't know, maybe 100 acres of land. And on that 100 acres of land, I'd build a private estate. It'd be like a cul-de-sac, right? A huge cul-de-sac. And it would be private, you'd be gated off as you go in. You'd need to have a gate to walk into the into the, the estate. And there would be a row of mansions the whole way through. And I'm talking, I'm, when I say mansions, I don't mean mega, mega, mega mansions, but a very beautifully big mm. sized house. And there would probably be about, I don't know, 10 on either side. Maybe, no, no, maybe it's on either side. Maybe I'd have about five either side. And then at the very, very end, you'd have my one in the middle 
and it'd be huge, huge garages, everything. And every single one of them houses either side, I'd move all of my friends into. All of them ain't got, they've, the house is theirs. And all they, the house is in my name. The house will always be in my name, but you live there rent free forever. All you got to do is pay for the bills. And then I have all my friends in the same neighborhood of me for the rest of my life. And my parents would have an outhouse at the back in their own little private area. The only way they'd get to me is a golf buggy so there's no disturbances. So if I had house parties or anything, they'd never ever hear it. A little golf buggy, they drive up in the morning or my driver would go pick them up in the morning. And then I'd have a pool. I'd have all you boys with me. And then I'd okay, set you up all car each or whatever car you want, you have a car each. And the only thing you've got to do is fucking pay for the bills. That, Lovely. what I do. Because you could run them houses on... Well, I don't, know, well, I don't know the maths, but if you've got the mortgage paid for off already and, and I'm paying the council tax and everything else, you've just got to fucking... So it's fucking, even if it's a grand a month. Bills, grand a month. Yeah. All you got, boys got to do is fuel your car and pay your grand a month. Cheers, mate. And then we will live... Because imagine that, bro. If you know your boys are on your road every single day, bro. <laughs> you can have street parties, you can have street barbecues. It's your, your fucking birthdays, road. Birthdays, everything. Birthdays. Yeah. Every year you're with your boy. And no matter what, boys, you want to come around mine tonight and go to the cinema room. Yeah, I'll walk over. One, yeah. I'll walk over. No worries. And the reason why I'd have it in my name is in case any fucking tribe bitches try and fuck you boys over, they can never take the house off you because it'll be in my name. Yeah, wow, yeah. So I would always have security over the houses. But they're essentially yours. You, you, you live in them. They're yours. That would be my plan. And then obviously just go on holidays all the time. My plan would be to move my boys onto my neighborhood and it'd be my road, privately gated, security, nonstop, all the time. That's how I'd spend my 50 mil. And because you think that's expensive, but bu building houses and buying houses are two different things. Completely. Buying, a, uh, building a house isn't that expensive. Well, look at Mara's house and he's built that for, I think, just over 100 grand. 100 grand. So say I spend 200 grand on each house. It's not even dented my 50 mil. You've all got your own fucking luxury place, bro. That's, That's how I spend my money. Yeah, nice. Imagine that though, bro. <laughs> just imagine that. No matter what time of day it is, you know, you've got that comfort of secu like a sec secure road and all your boys live on it. No matter what time, how could you ever be unhappy? Yeah, true. You'd yeah, never be enough. unhappy. Oh, you've had a shit day, have you? Pop brown, we'll fucking stick a film on Potter. It. Pop brown, Potter. <laughs> yeah. we'll, put, we'll put Harry Potter on. <laughs> and no, you'd never be in a bad mood, yeah, ever. Yeah, true. Yeah, nice, yeah, bro. Yeah, I like right. it. That's how I'd spend my 50 mil. Don't know how I'd spend my money, but I think I know what I'd want to do with my life. I'd want to really train like um, to an athlete level. Like, yeah. I'd want to go and do like ultra yeah. marathons. I'd want to train for an Iron Ironmans. I'd want to do... All that sort of shit. Like I love. I think that way of life is so cool. But you could do that. You could say, right, yo, do you mind putting a fucking run track at the back? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, could, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, money just, yeah. but, but that's not a lot. But, but say that's a meal to build like a. No, but no way, man. No. I'm no, just saying, nothing. like, no, no. I'm, I'm with a stand. You, got, you could, you could, you could host. <laughs> you could host family and friends every day. Come watch me run my I'm track. saying you could invite. Your second and third cousins, brother. You, you could fill the, the stand up. Yeah. But I'm saying yeah. you could build a stand no, I don't mean like a, but you'd have shelters. So you know what I mean? A proper running track in your back garden. You'd have your own personal people would train you. You'd have your own gym with the, the masks on with the bikes. Yeah, all that stuff. I brother, love it. Brother, you'd have it all. So you could do that. You'd be sick. But imagine you got that and all your boys are there as well. Right, boys, pop round after. I'm just going to do a quick two hour session with my personal trainer in my fucking own gym. Yeah, where you got to go? Back garden. Yeah, back garden. <laughs> brother, it'd be blessed, bro. Yeah, 100%. And you wouldn't dent that 50 mil. I reckon you'd still have, after everything I just said, I reckon you'd still have about 30 mil left. If not more. That project wouldn't cost you 20 mil not a million years that's how I spend my even if it was 5 million even if like, they're still not a dent no like for us a lot of money man yeah but yeah, I, cool. I, the athlete level yeah I'd, I'd like to push yeah, my limits proper go for it yeah what about you Oz it's just gonna uh, the question is gonna be similar to yours in respect of just like looking after family and people around you yeah, yeah, before, yeah. before I do anything for myself it would be for people around me that mm. I care about the love and most and try to like, like Give them a certain lifestyle that they probably didn't. Yeah, have. yeah. And on top of that, what you said is probably fucking nice anyway. What's the point of having fifty mil if you ain't got people around you? Exactly mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So yeah. I could sit here and go holidays, cars, and this, that, but that comes and goes. It's probably just spending it with yeah. people, isn't it? Pingus. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think that I'd actually. I don't think I'd change my life too much. Obviously, I have a bit more luxury stuff, but I'd probably want to start some type of movement, some type of club. But you're in one right now. It's called the Graph Kings. Yeah, but I mean like bigger scale. We could like, scale this. Yeah, no, I don't mean like that. I mean like to like open it up to like the public. Like you hey, know how mean, like, like what do you mean? Like, you know like George from Represent, how they have like all like the yeah, massive sick. running. Club. Right, okay, I'm with you. Have, like twenty four seven and that. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, big yeah. gym or like there's something cool where I could like build a community or something. That's awesome. Yeah, we I like could that. do that with this though, essentially. Oh. Yeah, I agree. I think well, I would want first thing I'd have, I'd have I won't gonna say it out loud in case we do it one day, is I'd have that gym where we want it. I'd want to do creative stuff. I don't know what you said you wanted it. Uh, yeah, we can't say where it is just in case I hijack the idea. 
Just uh, you can, say you know, it. Oh, okay. Just yeah, say it. Cover your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to do creative like that stuff. Ash. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. That's a very good idea. I'd I like be that. Creative, bro. Bro. I'd, I'd just get so bored. Maybe think, start a clothing brand. Yeah, and, I think yeah, if I had money, nice. I'd be creative with stuff. Do you know what? I wouldn't tell anyone either. No, well, I wouldn't I tell you how anyone. much I've won. If I won the lottery, if I won 50 million, 100 million, I would never tell you how much I've won. You'd know I've won. I go, yes. You, oh, no one would know. No, no one. I'd fabricate a lot. The only bro. person that would know would be my mum and my dad. They'd yeah. be the only people that would know. Do you know Other what? That, I wouldn't stop this. No, no fucking no, way. I'd put all the money this. into this, I'd, bro. Yeah, I'd, I'd have I'd, our own gas, I'd, bro. I'd fucking give this a massive cash injection. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. What about? You could blow this like that. Yeah. GKTV would be taken off. The but... graph king. I reckon we could speed this up. The whole success thing by at least. Uh, you in could, six months. You could do six, it six months. months. Yeah. Yeah. I, reckon, yes, I reckon you could do it overnight. Yeah, I, 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 I genuinely believe overnight because you get we'll pay for the merch that'd be paid for straight away. Set up a, a designer's website, run ads. Money. Ca- the people, yeah. cameramen, the people cameramen, cameramen us all the time. You could access anyone with. Enough money. Sick. I would. I would I'd, I'd still stick by our rule. I wouldn't pay anyone to come on our pod. Oh no, neither would I. People would come, want to come on anyway. If you mm. got that and you're investing it into your pod, I, your pod's I, wanted, go I like promise that. you that'd be, that is that we have never and we never. I will never pay. I don't know if I pay anyone. I will put myself in a certain social environment. Yeah, but you would with that money. Yeah, yeah. of course. I'd like. That's something I'd like to open. I'd like to open a gentleman's club. Yeah, I've, right I've got an idea, but I don't want to sound pod. Really cool gentleman's club. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Smoking tuffs. What about this? Yeah. What much about as you this? want. Sorry, one was hold that for. You know, you can legally actually smoke tuffs because you can, well, I went to Harrods to go and buy a cigar before Winter Wonderland. Yeah. And they've got a room inside Harrods oh, yeah, you where you can smoke a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. Not cigar lounge, no. Yeah, but they're still indoors legally able to smoke yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. think you could legally smoke indoors. Yeah, it has anywhere. to be, it has to be, um, thing, yeah. like, has to be vented properly. Well, why yeah. can't we build one of those? Yeah, we could. Of course you can. Let's do that then. Someone give us 15 mil. Imagine calling. Oh my God. Gash, cut it out. I'm serious. Cut that out. Go on. I was just going to say 50 mil or quit the pod. But well, you got to quit the pod. No. No. Can I restart it? 50, 50 million. No. Like, so 50 million, but you have to leave you the You can graphics. never do a podcast again. You have, have to leave the graph case. Yeah. So you get 50 million, but you got to leave the pod. That's it. Done. No more. Can I carry on my own YouTube? You could do anything you want. You just don't do graph things anymore. That's it. Done. No. I can move le- 50 mil. Yeah. What? I can move make 50 mil. Yeah. I hope we fucking do That's the plan. You know okay. what? You know, I wouldn't. Leg- got- legacy is everything yeah I was mm. going to say this is regardless if this made 50 mil or not I feel like what we're doing is bigger than 50 mil yeah, yeah, yeah man people like and our kids can still talk about what we are building even after we're gone regardless of how much and it might make hopefully the impression I think the impression is the right word hopefully the impact in- thank you hopefully the impact we're leaving on people mm. is far greater yes yeah. far greater than yeah. that respect mil. I wouldn't either yeah no I wouldn't do it not cool. now. If you ask me, probably month two in. Maybe yeah, 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 yeah. We're a year. We are a year in now, and I'm fucking. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. No. Well, that's the thing. Like, imagine what you'd be doing. You'd literally now just be sat at home watching telly. It, but it fucks my brain every time I think. Like, about I don't. This. I can't. Like, I date this. Like well. when, if we're not doing this, I, I couldn't wait today. Well, yeah. no, no matter how busy, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I, thought, I just can't wait to see the boys tonight and run a pod and get it. Like, talk about this shit and just see the boys and be with them. Like, I could do this. Six days a week, I could do this. No. I could do this six I'd days run, a week. You know what? If we did have the money, bro, I'd be running two, three pods a week. Yeah. yeah. So say, say we had This was full-time. Obviously, this is all our full-time income. We're earning, say, let's say we're earning between 15 and 20 Gs a month. No, actually, I said we'd need a bit more. Maybe 20 to 30 Gs a month of this pod. I, I would do two or three a week. Easy. You could, you could be sat, could we, could we could be sat in our lounge going, that's a conversation. Get the cameras up. It's not even that. No, we'd have, a stu- we'd have a studio and we'd be fucking off abroad and we could do it anywhere we want abroad. Yeah. Yeah, when so money when money isn't the option, you can actually do anything you want. I it blows my, I know I I would choose health over money all day long. So I'm not trying to say that, but I honestly do genuinely believe money is everything after health. Mm. In it this is. world, it is yeah, it is because the brother gives you so many opportunities. Mm. I just don't when, when people don't have when I see people with money and they don't spend it properly, I'm like you're an oh, idiot. Why me up? Like, give me the money, I'll spend it better than you. Yeah, too right. <laughs> if you lot could sit. I don't know why this has just popped into mind, but I'm going to ask it anyway. If you could sit with like a fortune teller to say, if you sit with me, I can tell you the future of this no. pod. Would you, would you like, would you no. want to know? No, I wouldn't want to know. I like don't know said, anything about my future. Could, I, could, I could tell you exactly how this pod is going to, what the I already know how it's going to turn out. So that, I don't need to tell me. Would you though, like word for word to say, this is what you're going to build, this is how much you're going to make, oh. this is how your life's going to be. And mm-hmm. what, but can I not change the course, the course of the, the future? No. You, so they, once they, I know it's set in stone, I can't do nothing no, to alter you, it. No, that's it's written. Yeah. No, that's how it's gonna be. I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know because it could you know, change everything. Yeah, it would change everything mm. because that thought that you then planted in my head may think, "Oh, what's the point of me in doing this anymore? I don't want to. Mm. Fuck, I might fuck it off." I mean, or you're just not putting any effort. Because the know journey, where it's gonna go. though, the journey is everything. 
Yeah. yeah that's this is the fun part yeah this is absolutely the fun part the journey and i've only really come to realize that it since now over the last year that we've done it i'm like when i look back at our thumbnails when i look back at our ideas at how us lot have changed personally um our relationships our relationships our characters have come out differently our standards our standards the our, our fan uh, the people sorry well, yeah, they well, yeah, they are. Like, they're, the they're essentially fans. I know it might sound cringy. I don't, saying, mean, I don't they sound are like that. But fans. Our, our people that follow us, like we've built, we're all, we are building a cult. Like, and we've just the way we've developed is just yeah, man. And when I look back, I think fucking hell, we've grown so much in the last year. Like it not in so many ways that it's like wow. If we've done that this year, how are we going to look in another twelve months? So yeah, yeah. fucking that is everything. Crazy, not yeah, crazy, man. And we're doing it without a sponsor at the moment either. Absolutely, so we've got no we've got no sponsor at the moment. We've learned by ourselves on job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We've just learned as we've gone along. I can understand why people quit. God. Oh yeah, yeah. bro, hundred percent. It's not. I think if there, if there was any less of us, it'd been difficult. If me and Mason just did it on our own like we planned to, this oh. wouldn't done, this wouldn't work. No way. T- I never had any intentions to do a pod, bro. Ever. <laughs> I just got into his head one day. <laughs> oh, I, I said to you some prick. Oh, I shouldn't say prick. Some some nice geezer. And he's a lovely guy. At my gym, wanted to do one. And yeah, I yeah, remember? Yeah, the American yeah. guy. Yeah, just weird. How fun is this, right? Of what what we just spoke about, how we went into that conversation is very bizarre. Because the next question I was about to say in the list was for fifty million pounds, would you sacrifice your dreams and aspirations for the rest of your life? <laughs> Never. Nah. nah <laughs> What's that? life without dreams? Hundred percent. What are you doing? Just living. Just, La vie. <laughs> just get so bored. Yeah, but that's mate. That's mate. I know it sounds bad, but that's most people's life. They're just existing. They're just floating through life. They're not living at all. They are just existing. That maybe they're not horrible. aware of it though. They're not. Yeah, some like people really aren't. The yeah. Because they've been because like, they've been given the blue pill. Yeah, yeah they just well, some people ain't got a fucking clue. But but sometimes you need to be given the red pill yeah. to know. Like, that's why there's this whole red pill movement because people need to be red pilled to understand. Hold up a minute. What the fuck am I yeah. actually doing with my life? I was red pilled about I'd say three years ago. Yeah, definitely. not even intentionally. No one actually actually fucking said something. But I remember yeah. I was I was just reflecting on something and then I was listening to loads of different things and thinking, hold up a second, bro. What the actual fuck am I doing with my life at the mm. moment? Some people need to be red pilled. I remember I watched loads of people get red pilled during COVID. Mm. Loads of people that were like pro everything. Sorry. And then I watched them all get red pilled. I'm not going to name them, but we've had some of their friends on our pods and everything, bro, and they got red pilled. And yeah. sometimes you need to be red pilled to understand. And for those who don't know what red pill is, it's refer- referring to the matrix where Morpheus offers Neo the blue pill or the red pill. And the blue pill is basically you take it and then you forget everything you know and you go back to your normal life and you just basically within the system. You're a robot in the system of the matrix. Or you take the red pill and you can't, unf- you can't unforget anything you've seen and you're exposed to everything and this is your way out of the matrix. And hopefully this pod is the red pill for you and the red pill for us. Two final dilemmas. Quite good ones. For 50 million pounds, would you live in a simulated reality Fucking where hell. nothing is real for one year? I feel like we are anyway. So yeah. <laughs> Tremendous show, isn't it? That's I, a good film. You, have you ever heard of Simulation Theory? No. You've never heard of Simulation well, Theory? Like, Let me ask the final one and come back to no, that. No, no, this is good. Let me uh, hold that. Let, okay, go on. So you, so you never, I know you have. Yeah. You don't know what simulation theory is. Give me more. Give me more details. So there's this theory which some of the smartest people on the planet believe is real. People like Elon Musk. Mm. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Neil deGrasse is that his name? Scientist. Anyway, basically, what simulation theory is is the way Elon Musk described it was: if you go back 50 years and you look to arcade games and how advanced they were, you'd go into an arcade and there'd be a game on the thing that you'd play and there'd be two rectangles and a ball and it was called, called Pong. You basically just bat the ball, the ball off these two things and you got up and down. That was a game then, yeah? Mm-hmm. You fast forward 50 years, you now have games that are so high quality, they're in this, nearly indistinguishable from reality. You've got virtual reality where you're playing with millions of people simultaneously around the world, yeah. all in real time, and that's just happened in 50 years. Now, Elon said... If you fast forward 10,000 years, which is nothing in the evolutionary scale for how long human life or how long life's been on the planet, mm. how far advanced would the year games got? They'd got so advanced, you wouldn't even know that you're not even in the game. Fucking hell, yeah. So Fuck he goes, that. how does that, how do we know that hasn't even already happened and we're already in the game? Elon believes in it so much, he thinks there's a one in, oh, I hope I get this right, a one in, 50 billion chance oh, I'm going to get the statistic up but it's, let's say a million a one in a million chance this isn't based reality well wow. that's coming from Elon's mouth there's a one in a million chance that this isn't based reality Shit, man. so he's 
saying no. there's there's a highly like nearly 99.9% chance that someone's already beat us to it and we're already in the game and we can't even tell the difference because the game's so advanced and you'd never be able to get out of the game because you're already plugged into so the game like, that might explain why people like see things and they're like glitches happen yeah you know when you get weird like, That's like, like birds and they're not like flying they're yeah like, yeah like, and going backwards and mad shit there's loads of Can stuff oh, there's a glitch in the simulation <laughs> but mate and if the smartest man on the planet the richest man on the planet is saying shit like that it does make you wonder, but his his theory is right though. Like fifty years, and that's how far games advance. And then you fast forward ten thousand years, what would happen? I think like the pyramids as well. They still can't fucking recreate them, bro. Man, there's so many phenomenons around the world that they can't explain, and they do it on purpose. They don't want to. They want to keep us away from our sixth sense. They want you to just feel sure. grounded in where you are. Yeah. And this is the only reality that it is. Like back then, humans were so incredibly in touch with our spiritual side like so in touch with it mate there's a reason why we there's a reason if you go to or you look at all the i call them hieroglyphics for this right you look at all the hieroglyphics around the world whether that's in australia in china in egypt in south america they all pretty much resemble the same thing all their drawings talk about the same stuff they talk about very similar gods in a very different way they have the same pictures uh, the same almost stories that happened these people would never ever have met like, don't get me wrong humans travel to different parts of the world far earlier than we give credit for or like there was explorers way before than, than, than we're taught but these people it, it was too far away for these people to have met and yet they talk about the same shit and they have the same drawings and they talk about mm. people coming from the sky and these people like these they, they weren't fucking stupid they weren't idiots mm. do you know what I mean like they were just limited by the technology of their time and mm. what they had that's it we know now has anyone ever heard of the Afghan battery? No. no. Oh, yeah, I have. Right. I have. So they have proven, but they, again, it won't be common knowledge. They don't want to talk about it. The Egyptians had electricity. That is, they have almost 100% proven that they had that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you want, to, you want to know what I'm talking about, look up the Afghan battery. And it is simply like a pot of clay um, with a bit of copper in it and something, and it creates an electric, uh, electric current. So they were saying the hieroglyphics that are inside of the um, pyramids you would never have been able to create that in such detail without lighting like this. It was just impossible from a firelight, yeah, no matter how that, much yeah. you had in there. And they found, I think it's magnesium in the bottom of the um, in the bottom of the pyramids, which again is used to stimulate current and create. Oh, it's fucking mental. So, so what is yeah. that documentary? I've watched all that sort of shit. That's yeah. Sick. There's loads of shit. I've seen it as well. Um, it's crazy. I've seen it, that one though. Look it up. It's crazy. Or if you want to listen to something really, really interesting. I know you're gonna say. Yeah, and you want to if you're interested in this sort of stuff, like generally about our past and what stuff that's been taken away from history, go and listen to a guy and gentleman called Graham Hancock. And two of the best conversations that he's ever had is on Joe Rogan. And they talk about our history and they reckon that the last cataclysm that happened was twelve and a half thousand years ago. And that has been just erased from the history books because that was when almost humanity was at, its, at an absolute peak. And they talk about um, Atlantis and they talk mm. about all that sort of stuff. But that Atlantis was a real place. It is on world maps that have been drawn from donkey's years ago. They just now can't find it. But don't forget the map you see today is not actually accurate. It's not real, is it? Mm. Like the countries are in different places. The, the sizes are all different. And they were created generally by the West to make the rest of the world look inferior. On a yeah, world so, map. you know, Africa on the map is actually made to look smaller than it actually yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Africa is the biggest continent on the planet. Mm. Yeah. You can feel this, yeah. United States, China, the whole of Europe into the size of Africa, mm. but it's made to look smaller on the map. For whatever reason, there's two conflicting arguments about this. Some people would say it's to make the West look more superior and some, some others just said it because it geographically yeah. wouldn't look correct make on the map. It look fit, yeah. But there is two conflicting arguments, so we're not going to go into that. Yeah, but, but Africa is definitely made smaller on the map. Africa is fucking huge. It's huge. Yeah. But yeah, we digress then. We always do. Um, last point. For £50 million, pounds, would you abandon your morals and values for one year? Yeah, yes. I do it every Saturday night. <laughs> 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 that is so true. Yeah. <laughs> for free, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Like what though? Like to my parents as well? Everything. Everything. You just, they're all gone. I just, I'd have to, oh, I don't know. <laughs> for a year? <laughs> Fucking right. Yeah, I would for a year. And you just make it up to him in 50 million grid afterwards. Sorry, well. Thank you and good night. Here's some peas. Well, that was an interesting pod. I really yeah. enjoyed that pod. Yeah. It was a bit of, it was very different to what we normally do. Yeah. So we digressed a bit, but I enjoyed the conversations that we had. So, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, we're doing some more pods like that. What have we got oh, coming cool. up? We've got other ideas we've got coming up. We're going to talk about um, mistakes we learned when we were younger. Mistakes in your 20s, yeah. Yeah. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Mistakes we made in our 20s. Now we're all close to fucking touching 30. Mr. Oz yeah. is. 40. And that's not what well, we're not going to learn. That's not ones that we're looking at. That is mistakes that we have all four. Yeah. So we're, we're, whilst we're going to have to dig deep prior to that pod to really think about mistakes that we have now learned and wish that, not that we hadn't made them, but if we can help you avoid them, yeah, mm. then that's the whole point. Yeah. Oh, sure. also summer plans. Yes. I think that should be the next one as we're approaching summer. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that next week. Next one, summer plans. Best places to go in summer for Ratleys, parties, and just overall to have a good time. Yeah. We'll yeah, that'd be next. a good one. Okay, cool. We're for sure. Finished. Anyone want to get anything off their chest? And, and, yeah. Any more for any more? No. Did you have any that you wanted to? Oh, no, we've done. No, sure. We've done loads now. That's yeah. no point. Pop? We've rounded it off, man. I can't go back into it. No, fair play. Fair play. All right, guys. Well, thank you once again for tuning in to the Graph Kings podcast. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope, uh, you gain something from this podcast. If you like stuff like this, let us know. I love the comments. We read every comment, by the way. And uh, we're getting some fucking controversial shit going on in TikTok at the moment. And we're loving it. So we didn't really... I don't think we said anything too controversial this pod, which is a bit annoying. Because that's, that's what's really getting us into the uh, yeah. the viral for you page. But anyway. But listen, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new here, like, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And we'll see you in the next. Peace. Peace.